Hello everyone, now I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to use a uh, full integration and reduce the integration using an example. So I'm going to uh, use this example again. So the question asks us to use uh, Abacus to assign full node quadrat quadratic element with a full integration and a reduced integration to find the string in the rectangle below. And the, this uh, part is subjected to a concentrated load of uh, 1 at this uh, node. And uh, the left side is uh, fixed. And the Young's modulus is uh, 10,000 and the Poisson's ratio is equal to 0 0.3. And the length of the part is a uh, one unit of length, and the height of the part is a uh, one unit length. Now let's uh, simulate it in Abacus. So, first thing we need to create a part, and uh, I'm going to use the default link part one, and it's a uh, uh, Plain element, so I'm going to put a 2D and a deformable. So here I'm going to use a 5 and click uh, continue. And then click this uh, icon to create uh, an, a, a rectangle. So we input the first uh, uh, corner, the coordinate of the first corner, which is 0, 0, and hit enter. And then we input uh, the coordinate of the diagonal uh, corner. It's a 1, 1. Hit uh, enter. And then we hit uh, middle mouse button. And then we click down. So now we have a part. Next part is uh, to create a uh, material property or mesh. The order doesn't matter. So let's create a mesh first. So this time I want to use uh, this option, see the part. So for this option, global seats, you can just put a uh, approximate size. So the question asks us to use uh, one element. So if uh, I put an uh, uh, approximate size that is greater than the size of each uh, edge, so I will get one element. So I'll put a two. And the length and the height of this uh, part is one. So if we uh, click uh, apply, so we can see that uh, the software put uh, four seats here, and then we go to mesh part, click mesh part, and click uh, yes. You can see we have we only have one element here, and then we click uh, assign element tab, and then here we use the default uh, uh, family, which is uh, plain stress, and we are going to use the followed element, so we put linear. And here, so for the for our previous simulations, I asked uh, uh, you to untick this because we are going we we are using full integration. So if you untick this, it means we are going to use a full integration, and we are using a full load by linear plane stress quadrilateral element. If we tick this, so we are going to use the reduced integration. And uh, for the element tab, so we will have uh, a R here. The R represents uh, reduced integration. So you can see reduced integration. So now let's uh, untick it first. And then for the next simulation, so we, we are going to use reduced uh, integration. Now let's click uh, OK. And then we can go to the property to define the material property. So I'm going to use uh, the default name and uh, assign the elastic material property. And it's uh, the Young's modulus is a uh, 10,000, and the Poisson's ratio is a uh, 0 0.3. And click uh, OK. And then we create a section. So I use, I'm going to use the default name and uh, select a homogeneous and uh, we use uh, the plane stress thickness is one, and the material, it uh, it's uh, the material we just we just uh, created. It's called material one, and click uh, OK. And then 
we can assign the section to this uh, part. And we select this part and click uh, down. And we select this section and we click uh, OK. Now we have uh, a mesh. Uh, we have mesh the part and uh, we have the material property. So next uh, we need to assemble uh, this uh, part and create an instance. Go to assembly and create uh, instance. So we only have one part. So we click uh, OK. Then we have uh, we need to create an analysis uh, step. So we go to the step module and uh, create a step. So this is, uh, I use the default name step one and select a static and click uh, continue. And here I'm going to use, uh, uh, I'm going to turn off nonlinear geometry. So click uh, OK. And now we have a step called step one. And now I'm going to apply a boundary condition and a load under this step one. So I, I click uh, boundary condition and uh, right click it and click uh, create. And uh, for the first boundary condition, let's call it uh, fixed uh, side. And we use that uh, in casture, click uh, continue. And then we select uh, this edge and then click uh, down. And then we click uh, in casture, click uh, OK. And then we can see this uh, set is fixed. Now we need to apply a concentrated load. And let's call it load Y and concentrated and uh, click uh, continue. Then we select uh, this corner and click uh, down. And uh, the uh, load is uh, pointing downwards. So we just need to play, uh, put elective one for this component along the Y direction. So it's elective one, click uh, OK. Now we can see we have uh, a load uh, pointing downwards. And then we just need to create a job and uh, submit the job. Let's call it uh, full integration. And then we click uh, continue and then click uh, OK. And then let's uh, submit the job. So submit the job and click uh, so if you if the the job of the same limb exists, then you need to click uh, overwrite. So let's uh, do it. Uh, let's click uh, OK. So if you see. Uh, this uh, sentence analysis uh, input file proceeds completed successfully. It means uh, your model has uh, everything. There is uh, no, uh, so you didn't miss any step like uh, assigning material property. If you haven't reached uh, this step, then you need to double check uh, material property, boundary conditions, and uh, load etc. So we finished the uh, simulation. Let's check the results. So we can check the string. So in order to check the string, we can go to the primary and select uh, E. E represents a string. And U is the displacement. So let's check the string. And uh, so because we have a load uh, pointing downwards, so we can check uh, E22. So here is uh, the string E22. So we can check, uh, we can go to the tool query and check uh, the E22 at each corner. So prob uh, values. So we can check uh, this uh, corner. So let's put a uh, node here, so we can check this count. So we have a string which is a 0 0.00013. Now let's uh, uh, just uh, record this, just uh, 
uh, take a screenshot of this number and then later on we can compare it with the reduced uh, integration. Let's uh, click uh, cancel. Yes. So we go back to the mesh and uh, now we change it to reduce the integration. So we just click uh, reduce the integration. So now you can see here we have uh, a R followed by this element tab. So click uh, OK. Now we create another job. Let's call it uh, reduce the integration. Let's click uh, continue and click OK. Now we submit this job. Go to um, submit. So let's click uh, OK. So now the job has completed. So let's click, uh, <clears throat> let's check the results. And uh, let's go to the uh, displacement, go to the primary and check the stream. And send the E22. So here we use the reduced integration. So we only have a uh, one integration point. So you can see the stream is, uh, uh, is exactly the same over the entire element. However, if uh, we use the, uh, okay, so if we use the uh, uh, full integration, we can see it's, uh, we have uh, varied uh, uh, strings over the entire element. So for the convenience of a comparison, so we can add another viewpoint and put them uh, side by side. And then, <coughs> This is a reduced integration. Now let's change it to full integration. So we can double click the, we can click uh, uh, full integration and right click and click uh, switch context. And now we have our full integration element here. So let's check uh, E22. So we go to uh, displacement and we click uh, primary. Here we uh, select a stream and then we select a 2 2. So we can find uh, two things. So, first, reduced integration has only one integration point for followed uh, quadrilateral element. So, the stream is a constant over the entire element. And uh, for four integration, so we have uh, four integration points. Then uh, this element uh, have a uh, linear changed uh, strings. So another thing is that uh, we can see if we use the uh, reduce the integration. So if we check the so this is uh, the e22 at this column for reduced uh, integration. Oh, no, for full integration. So let's, uh, uh, and uh, E22 for reduce the integration is uh, smaller than this, this which means uh, reduce the integration elements is uh, less stiff than full integration. 